Hello, dear candidate. You are most welcome once again. Today we are looking at a very important topic that is very key in the promotion exams. And we cannot dodge this area. So we are going to discuss about evaluation. Evaluation is very important topic that we cannot dodge in the promotion exams. Well, if you are a new person, kindly subscribe, like the tutorials, and share it with your friends. So when we are talking about um, evaluation, what are we trying to mean in educational um, sector or in education sector? Or in a classroom, what is evaluation or what do you mean by evaluation in a classroom so evaluation um, simply means a process of obtaining and providing uh, useful information for judging um, the learners the program and the process and trying to make um, value judgment about the effectiveness of whatever is being assessed or the children who have been assessed you make value judgment based on the assessment so evaluation as defined by other um, authors or other um, professional experts is um, that it defines the process of making value judgment about the wealth of um, the student's performance and it involves gathering information which can be qualitative or quantitative on a person, programs or processes and trying to make a value judgment about the, effect, the effectiveness of whatever is being um, assessed or taught so what are some of the reasons why evaluation is done in uh, various um, educational um, institutions so it's a process of um, collecting and analyzing information to judge the wealth or the value or the effectiveness of teaching and learn or um, learning outcomes so data is collected data is being analyzed and this um, data being analyzed is used to judge the wealth or the value or the importance or the benefit of um, assessment then another concern of evaluation in a classroom is to arrive at judgment on the quality the wealth the effectiveness of teaching and learning then another importance of evaluation is qualitative um, description of items events persons or objects objects or the value of the learners the value of the test items the value of the events um, being assessed then evaluation may we have type of evaluation we have types of evaluation so it may be formative or summative it may be formative or summative so let's look at um, the various forms of evaluation in a um, classroom setting or in a educational um, setting or institutions so let's look at um, formative evaluation so formative evaluation is a process of judging the wealth of teaching and learning constantly and continuously during the periods of instruction so during during teaching and learning after we have assessed the learners we judge um, the world of 
our instruction, the wealth of our learning. Then we looked at it whether what we are teaching is really important and through the teaching process this evolution goes on and it requires the gathering of detailed information on a frequent um, basis through a means such as teacher observation classroom um, questions homeworks or home assignment and other um, assessment tools um, such as continuous assessment to judge the wealth of teaching and learning while learning is um, in progress. So the purpose of the formative um, evaluation is to provide a feedback to both the teacher and the learner about the progress being made in the teaching and learning. So formative evaluation is continuous and it is done while teaching is uh, teaching is in progress. Then let's look at um, summative evaluation. Summative evaluation. So the, pro the process of judging the wealth of teaching and learning at the end of the period of instruction is what is meant by formative evaluation. So this one, it is judge or you determine the value of teaching at the end of the instruction or at the end of the learning topic, at the end of the term, at the end of the academic year, or at the end of the semester and examples are the end of term examination then bc then wasi then semester exams at the university and the training college or the other um, educational institution so it is judgmental in nature in the sense that it is attempt to determine what extent the broad objective have been achieved. So it determines whether the whole learning process that have gone um, on the objective have been achieved. And that is um, formative, sorry, summative um, evaluation. It provides um, feedback to um, teachers to look at the effectiveness of promotion and demotion based on the student's performance. So decision is made here either to promote the learner or to demote the learner either to judge the learner whether he or she has failed or he or she has achieved excellence. And as I said, examples of the summative, um, summative evaluation are those that I have mentioned already. The end of um, semester examination, the end of term examination, then promotional examination, BEC, then um, WASI, and go to the university's level. Um, uh, exams that determine the learner's broad learning area is term as summative evaluation. So this one, all that we are trying to mean is to judge the wealth of teaching or judge the wealth of learning or learning outcomes or instructions at the end of 
um, the period of instruction and they are both um, formative and summative formative in the sense that it is ongoing judgment is made when instruction is ongoing and summative is where um, judgment is made at the end of the broad topic coverage or the broad area coverage of teaching and learning. I hope this um, simple piece will help us in our promotion exams and we shall meet another time for another important topic. Thank you. God bless you. Kindly subscribe and like the tutorials and share it with your friends. God bless everybody. Bye-bye.